your face Other days you walk forever Just to leave this place They say a man is not a man Without the truth Take a look at the other side Before they take your tooth knows me and the men in my life, but it doesn't. He actually wrote in the, um, he signed a book out and um, wrote a part in there. Um. Oh, can I grab that book? Um, it's not a bad, it's about the gangland war. It's not a bad read, but it's far from the truth. However, I expect nothing less from John Sylvester. After all, he is pro-police. And the last thing the police want the public to know is the truth. Because if they did, maybe they'd think of me as some sort of hero. Which is quite true in some sense. Now I say it's background behind it all is more significant than anyone thinks. Because they were paying the police um, and they knew they could get away with so much, they thought they were up on top of the world. When this happened, we actually celebrated and thought it was a great victory that Jason was killed. Not that I knew at the time how anything took place. People say, or you hear the word kill or be killed. I can relate to that because that was what was happening. Andrew um, actually told Carl that um, uh, Judy Moran had um, given him a contract to murder Carl and I, and um, that um, him and another person had actually hidden in our roof for three days. Um, waiting for the opportunity to get Carl and I. And um, Andrew later on said that um, he couldn't hurt me because he heard me in the night rocking my baby to sleep. The day Andrew was killed, it was my birthday and um, really made you realise that um, you can lose somebody you love very quickly. I think that was a big, big reality check. It was like, whoa, fucking hell, you know, we've lost somebody here and... It's time to put your bat and ball down and go home and count your losses and um, just let it be. I believe the day that Andrew was killed that Mick Ghetto didn't pull the trigger. We were told that somebody else was there hiding in there and um, they shot Andrew. Why shoot him twice if the intention wasn't murder? Mum had seven kids under 12 when Dad died. I suppose I'm not taking the blame for us or her, but um, life would have been tough on a 30, 29 year old woman. My mum one day um, obviously had one of her tantrums. I was only really young, probably eight years, seven, eight years old. And um, she grabbed a bottle of nail polish remover and was gonna pour it in my eyes, she said. She allowed her partner to assault me. I was sort of out and about roaming the streets from 11 years old. I actually used to shoplift my own clothing at eight years old. And of course there were other tragedies in my family that people don't understand. To do with drugs. Laurie's not Laurie anymore, so yeah. 
that's um, really sad, but yeah, life goes on, and yeah, um, and Laurie's doing it really hard since Sharon died, as we all are, but um, as we all know, drugs um, take people's soul, and um, that's how it is with him. Are there consequences for what happened? Sure are. One fear I do have, though, would be um, one of the witnesses that went against Carl is a convicted rapist who was um, given immunity on certain murders. My fear is him being out in the community and coming back for me or my daughter or one of my other children. We weren't together a little while before Carl went to prison. So um, I only really went back when Carl got arrested because I felt I'm the mother of his child. He doesn't really have anybody else. He needs somebody to stick with him and I'll do the right thing. I often say Carl and I should have been friends, never together. I caught him at um, a girl's house that he'd had an affair with. It was Christmas day, 2000. I was pregnant with Dakota and um, he actually shot at me. He fired four or five shots at me. I remember one bullet skimmed the car. People often ask me about the um, talk of the affair that was had between Andrew and I. We never did have an affair, but I've often said to Carl, I wish I did do something like that behind your back because I would throw it up in your face every day to get you back for what you've done to me. What is Simon Overland offer you? 25 years. Take me out for six weeks holiday with girls. Bring any girl I want. Leave my family alone, drop my dad's charges. Move me to a more relaxed regime, easier conditions. That's it. And then when you didn't do it? I'm the worst fucking serial killer ever. It's gonna be a long haul and um, yeah, we're gonna keep him strong and just be there for him. The prison officers are okay. Um, apart from a couple of times I've been strip searched. Um, no, nah, they're, they're pretty good. They actually got a good sort of um, relationship with Carl. Carl's an easy going, great person. So he's not one of these people who'd give anyone any grief. So people can judge and criticize and whatever, but the real truth still to be told. So maybe one day, You've only heard the police version of Melbourne's Underworld, which was my life. A lot of it's fiction. I'll tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That I swear.